uh, St. Pierre was able to square up to the puck and make a uh, routine save. Atkinson from the near point goes for Rivera, far corner, and the Demons, nice cut work by Dongara. You're going to see Dongara fly down the ice. That's what Coach Kraz wanted to bring him to Dayton for. Taguna now. He'll go back far point. Pschnichny scopes it in. Score! Former junior hockey coach Dan Schnitzny, he gets his first goal as a Dayton Demon. And lend me your foam skulls, the fans chuck them towards center ice. 15-12 to go in the first period. Schnitzny, if that goal's credit to him, that's his first, but he's getting a point from the far point. The Demons now lead one to nothing. Sometimes we can just throw the puck on that. Crazy things happen, and it looked like a routine shot, but it eluded uh, St. Pierre. Look at the foam skulls fly in. Lots of fans buying them tonight. We see one skull closest to the dot. But this has been a cool tradition that Coach Karazovic and I agree on. It's a very cool tradition. <laughs> Some of the fans look like they're aiming for Mafus on the near side of the ice. He's always the target. He's always the target as the captain, Brian Marks, picks the skull. Like we were about saying, a great tradition. Danbury has something similar with the foam whales. And Detroit has something that's now frowned upon, but it still happens. They have octopi thrown onto the ice. It's a cool tradition. Springfield Yology is the sponsor. Eight seconds gone for the Watertown five on four. 14.34 to go in the first period. Roger Daguna, penalty shot. Here we go. He takes the puck center ice. St. Pierre comes out. Daguna takes his time and scores! Roger Daguna, shorthanded penalty shot. Pass St. Pierre, Taguna with his fourth goal in a 16th game here in Dayton. And the Demons lead two to nothing, 14.34 to go in our first period. St. Pierre goes wide right on the takeaway. And now here's Brian Marks. And you see in this first period, as we have a Demon flip into the Watertown bench, and Roger Daguna takes exception to that. He knocks the wolf down. And Robert, you mentioned this earlier. I mentioned it earlier. The demons are coming up, fired up, as one demon flipped his way into the Watertown bench, and Taguna took an exception to that against Bill Bronner. Bronner and Taguna will serve five minutes in the box. 11.40 to go in the first period. Dayton up two to nothing. Yeah, you see a lot of that these days where a player uh, throws a, a check, hard check on the opposition and uh, this time uh, Brian Marks, the uh, Demons captain, ended up on, inside the uh, Watertown bench and Roger Taguna took uh, matters into his own hands and stood up for his captain. Roger Taguna, although he is six foot nothing, 195 pounds, not the tallest guy out there, but his heart, he plays like he's 11 foot and he is just full of muscle. He doesn't care how tall you are. He doesn't care how good of a fighter you are. He will stand up for his team. As Watertown's going on the penalty kill, they put two minutes in the box as Roger Daguna will make his way towards the Zamboni doors. And Daguna out of the box. He's chatting with Matt Ray right now. And the linesman says, go, go. As the two exchange unpleasantries between the sides of the ice, Daguna heads out of here. There's still two minutes on the penalty clock against Watertown, but we'll see if they add another two on Dayton to make it four on four, or this could be a five on four for the Demons, resulting in their first power play in the night. With 11.40 to go in the first period, Dayton leads two to nothing. Dan Pschnitzny with his first goal as a Dayton Demon from the far point, and Roger Daguna, penalty shot, was successful. They use this chance to swap some of their penalty kill unit. Far face off circle, Centella marks back to Centella. 19 seconds left in the five on three. Shot by Centella, score! <laughs> A 
It's Peter Satawa with a five on three power play goal. And Demons fans, take your ticket stubs to Boston's Bistro and Pub on the corner of State Route 48 and Dog Lake Road in Inglewood. Take your ticket stubs within 48 hours for a free Demons power play Ritzel. Demons now go to work on a five on four. Next minute, six. 9.55 to go in the first period. Three nothing, Dayton. Yeah, 15 seconds into the five on four. Zanella call for a hook. Here's Mofus. He slips away. Van Weinsberg shoots and scores. As the Demons score, it's Robert Van Weinsberg. Ahmed Mafus knocked to the ground. The trainer hurrying back up. Mafus will get back up. It's 4 to nothing. Dane as Mafus. He's standing stationary, was knocked down. The referee holds up his right hand, and Lucas LaBelle will talk to Ty Wilkinson. The Demons now lead by four goals. Right now, the trainer will walk side by side with Ahmed Mafus. Robert Van Weinsberg will slap the hands of his bench, and Mafus will make his way around the bench. He's slow to skate. McWinney will give him a slap on the shoulder, and Watertown will go right back on the penalty kill. So Dayton will have another five on four with 7.48 to go in the first period. Four to nothing, Dayton, your score. And Robert, I'm not sure why there is a one up there for Watertown. It is a four to nothing score. Robert Van Weinsberg with the tally. For Van Weinsberg, that's his 29th. That last play, the first. Town Wolves, Dayton leads by four. And Dayton right away off the back, clears it away. Ronsberg looking for a shorthander, scoops it and scores! Jared Hicks with the redirection in front of the house of St. Pierre. And Dayton now leads the first place Watertown Wolves by five with 4.57 to go in the first period. Jared Hicks, short hander goal. Yeah, it was a great play by uh, Ronsberg to uh, bring the puck down the uh, left side of the boards on a two on one ru rush with uh, Jared Hicks. He, uh, this puck out off to uh, Hicks as he cut in through the slide, and Hicks just redirected the puck into the uh, Wolves net. For the left on a loop, Hicks now looking for Robert Van Weinsberg. He's wearing a final man of the first period. Five to nothing, Dayton, your score. Mafu squeezes in, delay penalty, Mafu's, and two Wolves come in, a second team in two. We're going to have a five on five scrum as everyone's got someone in the near boards. Clinton Atkinson, Dane Erickson, those two gentlemen shoving each other in the face. Dane Erickson showing his frustration. Clinton Atkinson with a little bit of a grin as Erickson's got the hold of a jersey. Right now, Mafus, he's not letting go of a Watertown Wolf. His jersey right around his neck. Mafus still holding on. That's getting pretty nasty out there as Mafu still tangling on. The two linesmen trying to break it up and the jersey is just about off of the wolf. Ahmed Mafu will take his gear, strip it off. He'll say, take me on, let's dance. As putting on his jersey is Mike Donnellan. Donnellan being pushed away from the linesman. Mafu now grabbed by Greg Left. If you are looking for a clean, friendly game, Robert, this isn't it. Mafus will head out of the rink. Dan McWinney will hold up his right hand as Dane Erickson still in the face of Clinton Atkinson. Joe St. Pierre right behind the back of the newest Dayton defender. 53.2 seconds to go in the first period. Five to nothing Dayton. Now Lucas LaBelle and Seth Ronsberg talking in the referee crease, but that's just talking, nothing else. As Cody Dion, Jared Hicks, they skate next to each other, but nothing happens of that. Dion heads back to his bench peacefully. Jared Hicks still on the ice. 
He's in the middle of a couple of hockey gloves, Sloan on the ice, a loose helmet. Ahmed Mahfuz with his chest pads stripped away. As we will have a slew of men in the box. Not right now, we're down to our final minute of the first period. But you can count on having a lot of bodies in the sin bin. Now Ty Wilkinson along with Greg Left and Gary Wilkins, they have a big task in front of them. Who's getting what? And we're not talking food delivered to Hare Arena, we're talking penalties issued on the ice. Right now Brian Marks chatting up with Lucas LaBelle, it's a calm chatter. LaBelle with his hockey stick in his right hand talks to Marks, his hockey stick in his left as those three gentlemen talk peacefully amongst each other. The fans, 90% of the fans are standing up in their wooden seats. As right now, Ty Wilkinson, Nettberg, along with Brian Mark, and their ninth on the season. 19 to 11, Watertown with the first shot on goal and score! Far faceoff circle, Cody Dion breaks the shutout and the Demons now lead by four at five to one. Dion with his 17th goal in his 25th game, the lead for the Demons back down to four. That's exactly uh, what the uh, Watertown Wolves need, it was to uh, take advantage of a uh, penalty call against the Demons, have the man advantage and score uh, within the first five minutes of the uh, second period to get them on the scoreboard and start chipping away at the Demons. That's a power play goal for the best power play unit in the league, the Watertown Wolves. As Seth Ronsberg gets that tipped away from him, the Demons control it off the faceoff. 27 remains, and here's Milligan on a two-on-one. There's a second Wolf now. Milligan crosses it for Lester Brown, score! <laughs> And you see the chippiness starting to flow again as McCarthy and Ronsberg in Dayton's far faceoff circle tangle up. Both gentlemen exchanging verbal jabs, but it is Lester Brown, I believe he'll get the credit for the goal on that tip on the left side of the ice. And the Demons have a five goal lead once again, six to one. Demons, 3.20 left in the second. I had the right idea in mind, I just didn't say it right. 25 seconds left, it's Pelche. Off the bounce, it is Milligan going neutral zone. Lester Brown's got it. he scored the last Demons goal. One on one, Lester Brown to the left, shoots and scores! <laughs> Trevor Karazwich has mentioned the fine handling of Lester Brown. He's got good hands and you can see good movement. Takes a left hand turn on the one on one, fires it past St. Pierre and Lester Brown with back to back goals. The lead for the Demons is now at six. It's seven to one Dayton, 15 seconds left in the second period. Right of the Dayton goalie. In the first period, it took us a lengthy amount of time as Saguna looking for a second on a breakaway, shoots it and scores! <laughs> it is Roger Saguna with his second one tonight. It's a breakaway. Two Wolves were playing a little bit deeper away from number 21. Taguna just slices his way towards Brian Kalzinski, and it's now an eight to one Demons lead, 17-44 to go in the third. And Coach Mustard on the pass. Marks tries to clear it. LaBelle is right there by the near point. He stops it. Zanella, O'Neal, shot off the body of Cody Milligan. Fresh off the IR. There's a shot at McWinney. The rebound, Phil Bronner unable to cash it home. Now minute 33, there's a shot by Dion, blocked away, McWinnie on his side, Bronner trying to pour it in, and there's a score! Cody Dion strikes again for Watertown on a power play. It's eight to two, Dayton. 16-21 to go in the third. Cody Dion with his second, he's got 18 on the season. 
you have to credit Dan McWinnie for all those stoppages on his left side, but also credit the Watertown offense. They kept that puck. They were attacking McWinnie furiously around that power blue crease. And Cody Dion will string it in the back of the net. 8-2, to two, Dayton 16-21 to go in the third. Marks, far corner, zips it around. Schnitschny keeps it away from an incoming Chad Bennett. Taguna cut off by Dane Erickson, looks for Bennett in the slot, LaBelle scores! Lucas LaBelle fires it past Dan McWinney, who is on his knees trying to stretch it, and LaBelle fires one to the right of the Dayton goalie, and Watertown has cut this lead down to five, eight to three, with 12.59 to go in our third period. Yeah, the, uh, the Wolves uh, don't want to be totally humiliated. They're still playing uh, their game, and uh, the Demons uh, just need to go ahead and match their intensity. Watertown now on scoring. Angle it wide to the right, and it is Clinton Atkinson trapping it, and that's your game. The final score tonight, the Dayton Demons eight and the Watertown Wolves three. With the win for Dayton, they improved to 28, 11 and three on the season. Watertown falls to 28, 11 and two. And if you're the Demons, Coach Karazowicz, Coach Collins, you have to be mighty happy with your team's effort tonight as Watertown ends up out shooting the Demons 41-38 and 14 to six on the third period. Yeah, I mean, uh, last night they won, the Demons won in overtime and tonight's game was uh, where the money was and uh, the uh, Demons cashed in on the win. We'll take a break as we'll have the Premier Health three stars of the game and the post game wrap up for you here on the Dayton Demons Broadcast Network. Final score, Dayton Demons eight, Watertown Wolves, Three. Peekaboo, peekaboo, smile. Smile, buddy. Come on, smile. Oh, honey, he's still not smiling. Maybe he's not a smiler. <sighs> yeah, maybe he's just not a happy baby. Maybe he's just being a boy. You know how boys are. Or maybe he's teething. Oh, poor baby, I think his gums hurt. Maybe he's just tired. Or maybe his tummy hurts. He didn't eat that much. Maybe he's not ticklish. You think maybe he's scared of the dog? Maybe he'll outgrow it. Maybe it's a phase. Maybe he just doesn't like smiling. Maybe he has autism, and we can definitely do something to help. Maybe is all you need to find out more about autism. No big, joyful smiles by six months is one early sign. Learn the others at AutismSpeaks.org slash signs or see a doctor today for an autism screening. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. And it can make a lifetime of difference. Brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. It takes 12 years to create a graduate. It takes about the same time to create a dropout. The difference between a child becoming one or the other could be you. Studies prove that reading to a child regularly dramatically improves reading skills. And kids who read well by third grade are four times as likely to graduate. So United Way is calling for one million volunteers over the next three years. We're asking you to step up, make a pledge, tutor a child who needs help, mentor a kid who needs help. 